So here's Denali, and we are coming up on day five uh, since arriving to the farm. And uh, his demeanor has really changed a lot. He's uh, become much more, as they call, level-headed. You can see his neck is pretty level, um, and he's pretty relaxed. So I'm just working on picking up his feet, and then I ask him to kind of move a couple of steps. Now I'm going to work my way towards his back feet. And he has been very, very good about picking up feet. Um, you could say I've skipped a couple of steps. Like, for instance, I typically will do, um, if I have a horse that is really seems worried about its legs, I work on uh, using the stick first, which I did do with him. And then I will use the rope so they can get used to feel all the way down the legs. But he's been very, very comfortable with my touch um, and very, very relaxed. Never felt him ball up at all. And he handled me picking up uh, his foot pretty well. So then I'm going to ask him to move a couple of steps. I find if I, I kind of keep breaking it up, ask him to do a couple of things and then get him to move his feet. It can really help kind of get him soft to the halter and kind of keep things interesting. So I'm going to go back, pick up the feet, uh, pick out his feet, which is great because again, sometimes the sand like clumps up in their feet and that can cause a little bit of sole pressure. And he's really relaxed about it now. And he really does enjoy uh, his little face scratches and it's all kind of the little things like how many times I have to coil up the rope that's good because it's just kind of time doing something a little bit different and, and then going back and touching his face moving his forelock around now I'm going to ask him to move his feet again just do a little bit of a follow he's still a little bit just kind of directly behind me so I'm going to have to work on getting him to kind of stay more up uh, by my shoulder, but it's not the worst thing in the beginning. So I always prepare him that I'm coming with my hand, and then you'll notice I kind of like to pull the fetlock a little bit forward instead of squeezing the tendon in the beginning. Now, uh, that always can be a cue because that's what farriers also know is to kind of give a little squeeze on the tendon, and that's to pick up the foot. But in the beginning with these guys, um, they learn to follow the feel, and it really seems to help them be less reactive if you just do a gentle kind of pull on the leg forward, and then they're much more willing to kind of pick up the foot. So now I'm working on uh, brushing out his tail. And also messing around with his mane. His mane's on the wrong side. Um, and I'll probably end up braiding it so it goes on the correct side because I do like to have their brand visible. Um, so it's just a little bit of uh, rubbing up by his pole right now. Because he can be a little sensitive about it. But he really likes his eye rubs. And his eye looks perfect now. Um, it's looking really, really good, so I don't have to put any more meds in, so that's great. And again, just working on a little bit of the connection, grooming stuff. Um, and then I like to, once I get <laughs> he's very quiet. Um, but you can see there he went to kind of come a little bit in, and I just used my hand to block, and then he went, oh my goodness. But then I go back to rubbing, and uh, so it's a little bit of a dance of when to kind of put the little bit more pressure on them and when to spend the quiet time. But again, he's doing really, really well. He's feeling very soft and quiet. I'm going to go back to brushing out his tail because it's pretty corded up. Um, so I wanted to get all those cords out and he's handling that great. He's very, like I said, he's pretty comfortable with me, uh, being around him, but, um, we still have a lot of work to do. So I felt comfortable in taking him into the alleyway. 
it's kind of a, a great a great way to um, start to branch leading outside of his pen and letting him kind of explore and see how he does with other stimuli so you can see he's a little worried about the wheelbarrow and uh, I, I am holding the phone and trying to close the gate at the same time uh, so don't recommend doing that as well as you can see he kind of wants to go back into his pen but uh, he listens to me there and comes back around so again I'm just working on leading because my goal is to be able to lead him outside of the pens to go to one of the bigger grassy fields uh, so just working on a little bit of here leading in the alleyway and he handles a lot of the uh, other stuff happening pretty well so um, you'll see me talking to my students as they are working their mustangs and sometimes you know they're galloping around or doing such things and he's pretty good about that so uh, now he is uh, getting to investigate one of the driving sticks we have and this is a pretty good stick because it's longer and so uh, I'm just get letting him smell the handle on it and then I was finally able to hand hand over the phone to my students so you guys could see how he's leading but as you can see he kind of wants to tuck in right behind me which I am not a fan of because if they get spooked they'll just run you over so I'm going to work a little bit here with him getting used to me being more so in that left eye so I'm gonna have my stick just help a little bit create some space And this is also a similar way that I teach them to send over jumps or go into the trailer. So this kind of cue how I'm directing with my left hand and using the stick for a little bit of pressure is a very good uh, stepping stone for them. There you see he's starting to give me a couple of really good steps. He got a little nervous so I just rubbed him with the stick. And then again, anytime he kind of wants to try to crawl all over me, he kind of wants to get into my lap, uh, I have to create a little bit of space. And he, he sees his buddies there. So this is good practice for uh, working on some connection work and focus. We had a little lick and chew, so that was good. And then we get a little bit of a protest where he wants to kind of stay over there with them. But it was pretty lighthearted, and that's all we had. Uh, so I was, I let it finish there, and that was a, a really good day for Denali.